there is no dispute about both father and mother earning exorbitantly well one in the us the mother is in india the consideration before the honorable court is earlier the, they had filed an application before the learned magistrate for 50000 maintenance per month i have heard it yes reduced to 25000 per session sessions now lots the need of the child the child is 5 years old okay 2 weeks ago the child turned 6 years old the child is 5 years old my lots 25000 rupees maintenance is she will save 25000 in the name of the child don't worry yes. my lots i am already saving that money while mother the child also, was, mother also will save my lots while the child was in us itself we started a saving scheme wherein every other month he so mother will start another savings my lots will only Sorry. file further more cases already so, 30 no. cases are pending between the parties no problem. and there are multiple my lords if this honorable court is hmm. <laughs> wishing to increase the maintenance may i make one proposal increase all 25 na 50 ittala munche allah so will restore 50 my lords may i my can you make a submission i will deposit directly to the school i will pay all the school fees relating the school also has food and bus and everything included my lords i'll pay the complete thing directly now, to now the school now who is paying my lord initially i was paying but i was i was sending it through her account even though there was no order of maintenance i was paying the school fees mm. after the maintenance being ordered every month i am depositing 25000 to her account mm. i will directly pay to the school whatever amount is as of today they are trying to say it is 3 and 1/2 lakhs i am ready to pay directly maybe tomorrow if it is next year it becomes 4 whatever is the inflation right i'll pay directly to the school mm. kindly my lord if that also it will be the same ratio my lords kindly mm. then that is my submission my lords 50000 mm. is an exorbitant amount which is more than what the child needs mm. she is living in a known house she has rental income and other things she doesn't have any dependent except for the child herein whereas the respondent herein has the first child from the first marriage that's uh, last time i told you yes he also has a mother to take care again that also i told you don't sing this when yes, songs i am not yes. washing away my hands from not paying the child while the child was in the us itself i have started a saving scheme she took away the child from us to india conspired to file cases filed cases also the moment us police was filing a report where there is no offense made out while protection order she had obtained a protection order from the us court as well while that was subsisting she doesn't inform the us court nor the us police nor the respondent herein gets the child to india in june july she starts filing cases in india including this maintenance case and this is not the first time she's done this my lords in 2019 also she moved the child from us to india and filed cases in noida again for maintenance and other claims in noida and this is the same pattern my lord she's been harassing the respondent herein by filing numerous cases my Simple, submission is 50000 she will stop filing this case it, it will become more my lord more we'll see. than existence of i have produced if your lordships can see i've produced a document a list of cases that has been filed against us or there will be cases against the judges they'll start filing transfer petitions writ petitions and my lord the my client is contesting numerous matters also he's taking care of his mother he's taking care of his first child he's taking care of the petitioner's daughter here and who's the daughter of both petitioner and respondent mm -hmm. we've been paying including the saving scheme for the education because the child is a us citizen he's also paying the us uh, at you at us mm -hmm. the saving scheme which he's been paying while the child was in the us itself the scheme had started and he was paying since then Hmm. he has to save for the future also for the child at one given point of time suddenly they come and ask for crores of rupees for a college fee he cannot get it so there is a saving scheme that which he is doing in the name of the child which he cannot withdraw what's your income per month my lords mine is about 9 lakhs in the us currency my lords 9 lakh us dollars yes my lords but when it we is... convert it into purchase power parity with india it will be just about 3 lakhs and she is earning 3 lakhs in india itself my lords hmm my lords admittedly both are earning well there is no dispute on that point my lords the that's why both of you are fighting well my lords i have not filed cases my lords in fact I, if your lordships can see i have sent an email to her categorically telling her to let's be done with all these cases let's focus on our child i produced that email also my lords hmm no their vengeance whatever it is that 
they just don't want to stop filing cases anyway, or this maintenance case i will deal with this my lord yes sir my lord i would just uh, take two minutes you don't want to settle the issue my lord i would like to submit just uh, two minutes for settle submission my, my lord you don't want to settle the issue no i want to settle my lord kindly permit me for two minutes actually ah. she is totally misleading this honorable court ah. she has they have filed slp criminal 4945 before honorable supreme court ah. all these contests were taken by them mm. it was dismissed by honorable supreme court oh. they had filed writ of habeas corpus 78 by 2021 before this honorable court and they had taken same contests it was dismissed i mean to say they had filed in three four cases at high court honorable high court honorable supreme court all those contests have been if you dismissed. file they will also file why should they keep quiet no false cut I, i was telling about false and irrelevant contents ah, that's all right now yes. coming to this this is interim maintenance my lord fees is 50000 Page number two zero one, my lord. Mm. Fees itself is fifty thousand per month. It is not per month, my lord. Wait. Two zero one. Two zero one. Yeah, my lord. Ah. First term fees, second term fees, third term fees, three lakhs. One lakh two thousand, one lakh two, one lakh two hundred, one lakh two hundred, my mm. lord. It may kindly be seen. Now, who is paying the fee? This uh, petitioner is paying. I am paying. Ah. Yes, my lord. All right. Then what are the areas of maintenance? Nothing is there. Oh, my lord, we up to date, Pete. Ah. Food, food services, twenty six, twenty six, fifty two thousand. Then bus charge, eighty five thousand, and then books, shoe, uniform, and summer camp fees. It makes six lakhs. Summer camp. Related mm. their savings actually mm. and reducing the income. What is the income? Income is my lord nine point two five lakhs per month. Per and, month. Yeah, and they have shown it somewhere. I mean to say three lakhs. Ah, oh, that is. Page still... number eighty six, my lord. I will start. Nine point two five lakhs. So fifty thousand is awarded. What is? How much do you earn? One lakh sixty two thousand. No, my lord. How much does she earn? Thirty five lakhs is her uh, annual income, my lords. Ah. Almost about. Uh, Two lakh fifty is her net. Right. My lord, that is a gross salary actually. And after tax, it will be around twenty lakhs. And my lord, page number eighty six, hmm. paragraph six. Yes. The ah. judgment of anything this, else, sir. The judgment. Para anything else you have to say? Judgment. This, judgment. I will read. You need not read. This. Uh, I mean to say, savings will not be allowed. Hmm. Then. They have taken the contention of purchase power parity. Mm. This purchase power parity is an idea and theoretical concept, and uh, definitely it is not a law. So that cannot be. You I are to say. You are guiding your daughter. Guiding. I mean to say, I am father, so that's why I have. No, that's what in uh, uh, guiding in filing these cases. Yes, my lord. Settlement and agal. Agadilaswami. No sentimental, my lord. I am talking no, of law. Actually. Settlement cannot happen. Yes. No, I am talking of law. My able Supreme Court. We will also answer law only, sir. Not settlement. No, I asked whether you are guiding your daughter to file all these cases. Yeah, definitely, as a father, I ah, yes. having my duty to Absolute. every father. Sir, that is why their duty to this guide their. No, there can children. be no settlement. We will answer in law. And for settlement, we have two mediations have taken place, my lord. That is why. And that had... you go to the mediation or your daughter goes. My daughter goes. You don't go. I just accompany. They send abusive mails to the mediation center also. When the matter was set down for a private session, my lords, he sends an email saying that because there was a matter pending before the. All right, Kelly. Anyway, Kelly, my lords, you are don't build a story. But I am also submitting judgment ah. that purchase power parity, the honourable. Ah, that yes. Court has mm. taken consideration of. Yes. All right. Yes, sir. we'll dictate on uh, another day, twenty third. Much obliged. Let's turn twenty third. Fifty lakhs crore. Nan sumne ag bhi tini, bit bit talk tini anta. She has threatened. One minute. Ah, yes. But now they were married on second of July two thousand twenty one at Patan. Uh, respondent number two and petitioner. Date. Second July two thousand twenty one. Two seven twenty twenty one. Yes. Thereafter, my lords, as per annexure R three. Hmm. 
I have noticed that she is making uh, calls to some people who are congratulating her on her second wedding. And on seeing her Jeevan Sati profile and Facebook profile, it has come to my knowledge that she was previously married. Which was not divulged to you? No, my lord. All right. Uh -huh. As per her Jeevan Sati profile, page 24 of my uh, objections, hmm. her marital status was unmarried. And she represents to be owning a company called Messrs Future uh, something. All right. Which she is not an owner of. When I confronted her about this, she threatened to file false domestic violence cases against me. Mm. I thereafter was posted at Kakching, Manipur mm. for my duty. I have reported there. She has turned up to Kakching, created a scene, snatched away my mobile phone and has assaulted the army officers at the police station. A detailed report Ooh, is... Petitioner. Please, my lords. An she has assaulted army officer. Uh, the, at the station, at the mm. police station and has also... Uh, made some racial slurs as against the officers. Annexure R4, there is a detailed report by the Kakching police station mm -hmm. to this effect, my lords. Mm. Then, my lords, uh, she has now coming to the uh, list of events before 2nd of July, that is before the marriage. Mm. 2016, CGM Kurukshetra has registered a crime as against her, which is, my lords, at... Uh, I'll show At annexure R15, page 77, my lords. Page 77, annexure R15. R15. Page 77. Of my objections. Yes. yes. Mm. This is a crime registered by CJM Kurukshetra, which... Who is uh, the complainant there? My lords, it's some private party. All right. This allegations are with respect to some fraudulent LIC policy schemes, mm. which allegedly the petitioner and others have... Uh, uh, put on the complaint and they try to scam money from them. That's all right. Please. My lords, uh, most importantly... What is the crime that you have registered against her now? Uh, my lords, offences are under 384, uh. 420 and 406. What is extortion? Extortion. Extortion, criminal breach of trust and fraud, my lords. Fraud, Allah. Cheating. Uh, cheating. Mm. I all stand right. corrected. My lords, another important thing, if I may just show your lordships, at page 80... Mm. At page 88, my lords... Mm. Page 88, para 12. Lords, this is the petition of divorce filed by the former husband and the petitioner. Page, page. 88 of my statement of objections. 82. Please, uh, the relevant page, my lords, is 88. All right. My lords, this is the divorce petition filed by the petitioner's former husband on grounds of cruelty. If I may just show your lordships on page 88, para 12, mm. similar allegation is posted by her husband also as against her. That is, that the respondent has also given threats to petitioner that she will implicate him and his family members in false criminal cases for demand of dowry, mm. domestic violence, domestic violation and murder, etc. All right. There is, there is a history of this, my lords. All right. And another important part, my lords, on page uh, 94, annexure R19. Yes. The previous husband thereafter withdraws his uh, divorce petition and files for divorce on grounds of mutual consent. This divorce was finalized on 23rd March 2021. By then she was married to you? No, my lords. Four months later, she gets married to me. Suppress she was divorced. Please, very well. Then? But my lords, suppression of previous marriage amounts to fraud, my lords. It's covered. No, that's all right. Please. Mm. Here also, my lords, she has in the form of settlement availed 52 lakhs towards alimony. You have, she's asking now. My lord, she is threatened when she was, uh, when I had filed this complaint, uh. threatening that time 50 lakhs kodi nansumne ang bittini, bit bit oktini anta, she has threatened. Hmm. After he has noticed the modus operandi, it has come to his knowledge that this is what she is uh, capable of. All those criminal antecedents were not told to me, my lords. Ega, discharge a comedy. Or I'll, I'll, I'll pass an order, no problem. Yes. No, no, no. No we have, next we date. Have, we have the document, my lord. Today. File discharge. I'm going to close it today or I'll pass orders on merits. No problem. No, no, sir. Ella Ali, trial Not like that, my lord. What the submission, what they are doing. Making the submission is that. Uh, the, the Let the crime be investigated into. So what? Without your, the procedure of law in itself is not possible. Ah, that will see. Between, between husband and wife, there should be a counseling. At least three times counseling. Without information, without being... No problems. No. 
this is not this is not a crime to be counseled it is 406 420 and 384 not 498a for you to say no 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 ingredients not counseling yavadralu bekagirade according to lalit kumari it is in cases of matrimonial dispute is it a matrimonial dispute oh what matrimonial 384 sir extortion ah that i will answer i will definitely answer no no sir no you file discharge sir you have enjoyed the stay you have enjoyed the interim order for 2 years you should have produced all the documents by now no sir aith right, tomorrow list tomorrow list tomorrow or you file discharge nothing doing list tomorrow no no sir nothing no no i need i need list list the matter on friday at 4 pm for further hearing yes Friday is not tomorrow. Yes, Thursday. Day after tomorrow, sir. Day after tomorrow. Get, get, sir. If you have interim order, may be vacated, my lord. Huh? Interim order may be vacated. Let the investigation be done. Sir, one minute. You collect all the documents, whatever. Yes. The learned counsel appearing for the petitioner and the respondent have argued the matter at length. The learned counsel submits that there are several documents that would prove the innocence of the petitioner. the allegation against the petitioner is the one punishable under section 406 420 and 384 of the ipc the husband has registered the crime against the wife the contention of the respondent so learn counsel for the second respondent husband is that she gets married to the petitioner uh, without divulging the previous marriage the learned counsel for the petitioner submits that she had already been divorced by then As, and there was no obligation of the petitioner to divulge the earlier marriage be those submissions as they are the further submission is that the petitioner has demanded money and there is an allegation of uh, the uh, demanded money to settle the issue and there is an allegation of section 384 of the ipc which is for extortion therefore in the case at hand what requires is an investigation therefore the investigation be continued by the uh, by the investigating officer but the investigating officer shall not file a final report prior without the leave of this court list the matter on 25th october the progress of investigation be placed before this court on the next date of hearing post 25th of october for further hearing at 3:30 pm problem produce it before the investigating officer produce it produce it no i nothing is going to happen investigation final report will be filed only after the leave of the court what what will be the result i don't know false huh. yes against me if uh, tomorrow if it is proved that i am not accepted the money yeah. whether the, the police will register another case against i will direct registration sir i will direct registration if it is a falsehood on the part of the husband i will direct registration of a crime against the husband ah yes next number 3 interim order subject to the uh, interim order is thus modified yes